polarity is another unit of concentration which is also known as molar concentration you need to get this clear the difference between mass concentration and molar concentration is this a mass concentration you are trying to tell us the number of grams of the substance contained in one tm cube or one liter but in molar concentration you are telling us the number of moles of the substance contained in one tm cube so mass concentration goes with grams per tm cube while molarity or molar concentration goes with mole per tm cube now let's solve this problem molarity so you can get clearer understanding question says calculate the molarity of urine sample that contains 0.850 grams of ammonia in 125 milliliters of water let's solve this problem there are two ways or two different formula we're going to apply here to solve problems of polarity I'm going to give you two formula if formula A does not suit you you use formula B at the end you get the same answer so let's see the formula the first formula which I call formula A says that molarity of a substance is equal to the mole of the substance divided by the volume multiplied by 1000 why the formula B says that molarity is equal to mole divided by volume now you can see that the difference between these two formula on the board the formula A and the formula B the only difference between the two of them is this 1000 here now how do we know when to use the one the formula that has 1000 and the one that does not have 1000 when the volume given to you has a unit of milliliter note this for formula A when the volume has a unit of milliliter or centimeter cube or grams when the unit of the volume of the solution is expressed in any of these units milliliter or centimeter cube or grams you use the formula one that is formula a the reason for this 1000 is to convert the volume to the standard unit which is liter or tm cube so i can put milliliter here to differentiate them now you use formula b when the volume has a unit of liter or dm cube whichever one so from the question given to us you can see that the unit of the volume they gave us 125 milliliter the unit of the volume is a milliliter that means you are going to use formula a the one that has 1000 and that simply means that our answer is going to be easy enough to get so using the formula a molarity is equal to the mole given to us divided by the volume multiplied by 1000 and that will be the mole given to us in the question is a uh, The mole is not given. What they gave us is the mass. And the mass is 0 0.85 grams. They didn't give us mole. So we are going to find mole from the mass given. Remember, can say what? Mole is equal to mass divided by the molar mass. And remember, the compound we are talking about in this question is ammonia which we know to be NH3 that's ammonia so the mass is 8 
okay, 0 0.85 and the molar mass of ammonia as we know nitrogen is approximately 14 plus hydrogen is approximately 1 and is multiplied by 3 remember ammonia is NH3 1 nitrogen which is 14 3 hydrogen atoms which is 1 multiplied by 3 so this is the molar mass all we are trying to get is the mole now if we do this we will have mole to be 0 0.85 divided by 17 and that will give us from the calculator to be 0 0.05 mole now this is not the final answer all we did was to find mole now we can proceed with the work therefore the molarity which we are looking for becomes the mole which we have gotten to be 0 0.05 divided by the volume which is given to us as 125 multiplied by 1000 remember this I did not convert this 125 milliliter to liter why? because I am using the formula that has 1000 Assuming I'm using the other formula, the one that does not have 1,000, I will convert the volume to TNQ. The work of this 1,000 here is to convert the volume for you. Okay, so that will give us our final answer to be 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.05 times 1,000 plus divided by 1 to 5. If you punch this on your calculator, you will be having 0 0.4 mole. Now, this is the number of moles of the ammonia contained in one TN cube. And that is your answer. So our final answer is equal to 0 0.4 mole per TN cube. Or you can say 0 0.4 mole per liter. It's the same thing. That is how to calculate molarity. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to share with your friends, like our page, and subscribe. Thank you. All right. Actually. Okay. If we punch our calculator, we are going to have this answer to be equal to 34.24 grams. Now, this 34.24 grams represents the mass of the substance that will be contained in one liter of the solution. And as soon as you get the mass present in one liter, that is your mass concentration. So our answer becomes 34.24 grams per dm cube. You can as well call it grams per liter. Thank you for watching. If you have any problem or whatsoever you want us to help you solve, please do well to drop your questions on the comment section. Do not forget to like our page and share with your friends. Please, before you go out, click the subscribe button. Thank you.